Hello, my name is John Brown and my role on this project is the Assistant Construction Site Manager for Tunnels. This is a view into the launch shaft showing southern tunnel drives from Downsview Park to Downsview Station. We're now going to take a look at a typical ring building process. This is the train going into the tunnel carrying the concrete tunnel segments and empty muck wagons. A view into the operator's cabin showing the screens and control panel. The segment unloading area. Taking some measurements to ensure a good ring build. Final preparation of the segment. Installing the segments using the segment erector. Another measurement to ensure the segments are correctly lined up. The new ring is always built against the previous ring, which the TBM will then use to shove off using these jacks. A time-lapse view showing the installation of the tunnel segments. And putting in the final bolts which will complete the ring build. The red light is the laser, which is part of the guidance system. The next process when the machine is advancing is the collection of the muck in the wagons. This operation needs to be carefully controlled. And the journey out of the tunnel by rail to restart the process again. The part everyone looks forward to is the breakthrough when all the tunnelling has just about been completed. This is a view into the extraction shaft. At this location, the TBM is approximately 12 metres below ground level. It's 6.1 metres in diameter and has a total length of 80 metres. The hole the TBM will come through is made of a weak concrete mix and fiberglass columns. This is a close-up of the cutter head turning with the rippers that break up the earth during the tunnelling process. Thanks for your interest in learning a little bit about the Toronto-York Spadina subway extension.